I grew up in a small town in Michigan, uh, right on the border of Ohio and Michigan, right by Toledo, Ohio. And I went to a pretty large high school, about almost 400 kids in my graduating class. So it was tough with competition and everything. I played varsity volleyball for three years. I would played basketball too. And pretty much growing up, it was like we had a big town. So like coming here, it was different. It was like, it's a small town. Everybody knows everybody. It was very hard because I made all SEC, which was our conference, but they only had like 12 people in the whole state who would make all state for first team and everything. And my sophomore year, we ended up making it to the final four for states, which was really cool because I got to play in like the Kellogg Arena in Battle Creek, Michigan. So that was awesome. But other years we made it to like quarterfinals and we played like a team that had like four D1 athletes, first team all state, like you'll get those teams. But overall, I loved playing the bigger schools and it gave more competition. I actually was gonna play for a different school. I was talking to another school, but I found out D1 contracts legally can't recruit nursing majors. So I ended up having to switch November of my senior year. We started recruiting all over again. And then I fell in love with this school. Just, I like the area. I've always loved the South. I have family down South, so I just wanted to get away. And it was a nice enough school and small enough classes, especially for a nursing major. And the acceptance rate for nursing school was really high. So that was another big draw. And the coaching staff was awesome. I loved them. They were so welcoming. So was the girls and everything else. Since I've been here, the girls have been like super welcoming and everything. And with living with them, we see each other 24 seven and it never gets old or anything. We, I love the competition and everything, especially for being an NAIA school. Having such a great program is so big. And every, when everybody says NAIA, you think super small and not the greatest, but here the competition is really good. Like everybody plays to the best of their ability and practices are always, everybody always goes all out. And I just love that. I, love the area and I love all the girls on the team and the coaching staff too. For me, it's been hard because in 2015 I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. So I had to go through a lot of surgeries and everything. And it was especially hard because I have this little girl in my life, her name's Ava. And um, she is like the light of my world. She inspires me to do what I do. Like every time we have pride the jersey, I always do it for her because I was fortunate enough to have my tumor removed, she's still going through it. And she's only like 14 years old. And she's had hers for almost five years now. And so it's been very hard because I couldn't see her all the time because she was undergoing brain surgery when COVID started happening. So she was immunocompromised. So I was not gonna take that chance of having her go through that and having to risk her not having surgery because she needed that surgery. And I, it was hard. I even stood outside her hospital room holding up signs like, because I couldn't even go in and see her, so that was hard. It was extremely hard, and with like family medical stuff, I have like a grandpa who was immunocompromised, and so was a grandma, so it was very hard. Like, I didn't get to see my friends all I wanted to because I wanted to be around them, because I knew I was gonna come back to school. I was really hoping, so I was like, I wanna see them all I can. I'm about to apply to nursing school, actually, so it's kind of stressful. Right now, I'm going for my state registered nurse's aide certification, which is hard, it's three hours every other day it's a class and I have to go to a different building. So, but the coaching staff here is like so willing to work with me, it's amazing. And I'm just so thankful that they did or else I probably wouldn't have chosen the school if they, because every other place I went was like, it's gonna be impossible, you can't do it. Whereas up here they're like, we'll work with you. Like you'll be able to play. And it's just, it's been tough. My first year, first semester was tough, I admit. And I realized that like, I'm gonna have to take summer classes if I wanna be able to play more, so. I'm just really thankful for that and being able to apply to go into the spring means a lot of my stuff will be in the spring so I'm really thankful for that too. Make every moment last and don't be so caught up that it's a small school. Like you'll meet the best people of your life here. The Every person here is amazing. They're super kind. That was one thing that me and my dad talked about after my visit was that everybody here was kind. Like you never we're wondering if someone was like judging you or anything just because everybody was like welcoming you with open arms and just to like give it open mind. Cause at first I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's just a small school, it's a small town. There's nothing around here. There's always things to do. There's always new people to meet and it's a great experience overall.